Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo! <laughs> yes, sir. Let me dig into your brain. Folks falling like very tough. Um, and then I, I didn't expect that. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Man, this is crazy, man. This is this is almost comical. This whole ESPN versus Tim Bradley situation. I got so many messages from random boxing fans saying, man, did you see the way they did Tim Bradley? Did you see the way Teddy Atlas did? Et cetera, et cetera. Matter of fact, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put up one of these comments because this is the first person who sent me a message. Hopefully I can pronounce his name right. This message was from Artul Villasenor. He wrote, poor Timothy Bradley got bullied by Teddy Atlas and then by Stephen A. Smith. Shouts out to Artul and thanks for supporting the channel. You know, this is pretty crazy because Tim Bradley, the only active fighter on the panel, and it did seem like they were actually upset with, especially of course, Stephen A. Smith, but it seemed like Tim Bradley, he was forced to feel guilty just to even give Jeff Horn credit. Now, Tim Bradley, he said he thought that Jeff Horn lost the fight. He said he thought he lost the fight, but it's almost like when he said it, he was almost saying it in an apologetic way. He would apologize almost for saying, but guys, Jeff Horn did really good. I mean, you know, Tim Bradley, he said, I thought after he got knocked down, he came back and he did even better. He said something like that, I'm paraphrasing, but you know, they were just, especially of course, Stephen A. Smith. But once again, Tim Bradley, it's almost like he had to apologize for saying, look, I thought Jeff Warren lost the fight. All I'm saying to you guys is, I was really impressed with Jeff Horn's performance. And whenever Tim Bradley would say this, Stephen A. Smith, especially Stephen A. Smith, he was getting more and more fired up just because Tim Bradley gave Jeff Horn any credit. But Tim would have to go back and say, Steve, look, and he said this, Tim said, Steve, look, Steve, I get it. I thought Jeff Horn lost. All I'm saying is I thought he did a great job. He was impressive in his performance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It was amazing to me. I mean, I don't include Teddy Atlas when I say this. When I say ESPN, I'm talking about everyone else. But I'm telling you right now, the way ESPN acted and reacted to this decision tonight, they're giving Jim Lampley and HBO some serious ass competition. Let me just put it that way. I mean, Tim Bradley had to fend for himself. And it's crazy because Tim wasn't even saying, hey guys, I thought Jeff Horn won the fight. Tim was actually saying he thought Jeff Horn lost. He thought Pacquiao won. But once again, he sounded apologetic when he gave Jeff Horn any credit. And then you got Stephen A. Smith talking completely ridiculous. He's talking about how garbage Jeff Horn is, how he has a terrible nickname and, and look at the opponents that he fought before, et cetera, et cetera. Steve, if you saying all this stuff, then why didn't you ask, why was Manny Pacquiao fighting Jeff Horn in the beginning? How come you didn't say all this before the fight? Once this fight was announced, that Pacquiao was fighting Jeff Horn, right? But anyway, it's very unfortunate when people can't speak their mind without worrying about how someone else is gonna take it. And that's the situation that Tim Bradley was in after this fight. That's pretty much all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.